In the TechSmith community, there's a lot of discussion around the Snagit Highlighter tool. And we're pretty much limited right now to just using a rectangle box, which works okay, but is not always what we need in certain situations. A lot of people ask, how can we do a circular highlighter or maybe a polygon highlighter? Well, our options have always been, or the workaround has always been to use a shape and create that and go through all the monkeying around. We fill it with the color that we need. I'll take the outline off here and then set the opacity. And as you can see, it's usually a less than desirable result. Our text is faded. The highlight color is not nice and crisp. So what's the alternative other than this? Well, I think I've got a way that you'll find a lot more useful and end up with a lot better results. Let's go ahead and get rid of that shape. I'll just control Z to get out of it. With Snagit 13 and 2018, we now have the selection tool, which they've added the ability to replace our background fill with either transparent or autofill. And it works really well. For this um, demo here, we can pick either one, doesn't really matter because it will not affect what we are doing. So I'll just go ahead and use the autofill and I'm going to select the circle selection. We'll draw our selection here around this text. Now, one thing to note, if your shape is not exactly where you want it, do not use the move cursor here. If you have the four arrowheads showing, don't click and try to move that because it will move the text and either replace your background with a transparent fill or autofill it to your background. You must use the grab handles here and position it how you want it to be. Okay, so make sure that you're not using the move tool in this area. That looks pretty good there. Now with that selected, what I'm going to do is go to effects and we're going to replace the color. So I'm going to click that and my background color is white. So I've selected that here and I'm going to replace it with this yellow. And as you can see, the results is pretty darn good. The text is still pretty clear. We have a nice highlight there. Let's go ahead and change that to the fluorescent green. We can compare it with this. And as you can see, it, it works rather well. And I have a circular highlighted area now. With that being said, there are some limitations to this method. One, we can only use a few colors. For instance, red or blue will not show your text well at all. So we do still have some limitations here, but I think you can agree that the text is a lot clearer this way without setting, making a shape and setting the opacity. Let's say that uh, we make a mistake and I go ahead and, whoops, <laughs> let's draw that out again. Let's say we set that color to something like that and I apply it and it's all, that doesn't look very good. Well, just control Z and get back out of that and it'll pop right up to your shape here again. We can go in there and reset the color and apply that and it looks pretty good. So there you have a way that you can create a highlighted area and not fade out the text and still keep a nice crisp color for your highlighted area. And this works equally, equally well if let's say we need a polygon shape or pretty much any shape that you can think of, this will work pretty darn good. Okay, I have my area selected. I'll go to my effects, replace the color. Let's go ahead and make this one uh, a yellow and apply it. And there you go. We have a nice highlighted area, an oddball shape, and the text is still nice and readable. So I hope you found that helpful and there's a way that you can now highlight an area with irregular shapes or a circle and not be limited to just the rectangle box. Take care and have a great day.